um, I think we're at a good spot where we could talk about like you know one of the many successes in open source because mm. people are like why do open source? So here's this week's talk I wanted to do. Are you gonna get like a little thing? It's like Phil's talk. Happy birthday! I had an article thing at Make. It was called like Phil's soapbox. Um, happy birthday, MicroPython! Eight years old. And one of the cool things about MicroPython is yes. it's open source. That's right. And um, there's lots of it's ways. Very open source. Yeah, there's lots of ways you can support an open source project or company or individuals. Oh, you mean like giving money to the FSF? I wouldn't suggest we discuss the FSF during this segment. We're going to stick to You mean Micro there's Python. other ways to support open source? Yeah. So Great. Um, one of the ways you can do it is uh, I just did a very quick search on our blog. So we have 883 posts dedicated to MicroPython. There's a lot more, but that's yeah. just that's just, just the, the top. And you can search via Google um, site-specific and see there's, there's probably thousands by now. And so one of the things that you can do when you want to help open source is get the word out about good things they're doing. So more developers get involved, more people who want to do documentation, more people who want to do events, more everybody there's a there's a role for everyone in open source. That's one of the things you can do. And if we were to have little check boxes, check, we did that. But this is all stuff that everyone can do. Here's the other thing. Let's say you have an electronic store like Adafruit.com. Well, Damien and um, his company made the Pi Board. We stock the Pi Board. We buy the Pi Board. We send Damien money. That's right. And then we get pie boards, and then we sell them to you. And we sell the accessories, too. So that is a way to support. Yes. So you got, you could get the word out, bring people together, write about things, celebrate stuff. You could physically buy stuff. Here's another thing you can do. Oh, and we also have some of the accessories, by the yeah, way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And you could go to our website, and you could check out, you know, pie board and MicroPython pie board. Yeah. All that stuff. And you can buy them right now. Other thing we did was we like, well, this is kind of cool. Let's make a sticker. And this was, um, they had artwork, but we said, well, hey, we can, we can make the artwork um, print ready, and we'll make stickers. And one of the things we did with the sticker, because you're like, oh, are you, you're just making MicroPython stickers. What are you going to do with all that sticker money, Adafruit? Well, we have, this little, <laughs> we have this notice that's very specific that says, each hey, sticker purchase helps MicroPython. Well, the deal is not a lot of people buy stickers. Some people buy boards. Some people read the blog. But eight years has gone by. So... We saw that um, this year, MicroPython has sponsorship enabled on GitHub. And the way it works is you give them money if you're on GitHub. And right now, I think they're waiving the fees. And you could be an individual sponsor. You can now be an organizational sponsor. And basically, what it does, when you give them money and they have goals, they want to get to $5,000 a month, continued maintenance of the software, recruiting additional maintainers of things like GitHub issues, funding purchase of development boards for new platforms, Offering bounties for fixing bugs, investing in opportunities for paid development and paid documentation improvements. So um, this year um, was a different year because there's sponsorships on GitHub. You can sponsor one time. You can also sponsor as an organization because it's all new stuff with GitHub. Two years ago, um, we did a donation. We didn't talk about we didn't do anything. We just said, "Hey, Damien," and we we just gave him the money. Yeah. We said, "Happy sixth birthday!" Here's six thousand dollars to help the development with MicroPython because we build on top of MicroPython, just like other bits of open source. That's right. And that's where the core of CircuitPython comes from. Because we do things like make hardware, and we make enough money to do other things with it, like give it to our employees. Right. And give it to other folks, and donate folks, do donate to folks. So this is all, this is how it, this is, this is success in action with, with uh, open source software and hardware. Yes. So um, what we did was um, we looked and we said, hey, look at these sponsors. There's about 50 people that are sponsoring all together. Um, they're about 25% of their goal. And um, I was looking at the way GitHub allows you to do stuff as an organization now. So I flipped me from Phil to, to Adafruit because it yeah. says, hey, do you want to sponsor as Adafruit? And I'm like, yeah, that's what we want to do. We want to sponsor as Adafruit. And uh, I hit the button and it said, congratulations, you sponsored MicroPython, 5000 bucks. So money's tight for us, just like it is for everybody else. We're recovering. We're trying to hire. Um, but we had enough budget. We did a PyCon sponsorship, and this is our MicroPython sponsorship. And I got this cute little email with, um, this is Mona, the Octocat. Happy Mona. And um, that's a $5,000 donation, and that means that they hit their goal for the month. Now, it doesn't show in the progress meter the same way because this is a one-time. So what we're hoping is other people or other organizations matches Adafruit and says, hey, I'm a company that bases my stuff on MicroPython too. Yeah. I'm going to take care of one full month. 
bang, bang. go in there. Go. So we did it. And um, this is where they're at with the recurring ones. They're 25%. And then we did a one-time for 5K. Now, the cool thing about all this is people notice. And uh, this is a tweet we saw. And we're just like, whoa, that guy sounds familiar. Well, that was Nat Friedman, the co-founder and CEO of GitHub, and said, very cool to see the fine folks at GitHub give $5,000 to MicroPython Project with GitHub sponsors. Happy eighth birthday, MicroPython. That's pretty cool. Yeah, pretty cool. So Good work. this is how open source can work. So, if, you know, some folks would say, well, you know, there's no business model in any of this. You can't possibly sell hardware, software, give it all away. Can't do it, can't do it. And like, oh, there's there's different versions of everything. How come there's not just one version? Are there all these things. Yeah, but you say. this. Well, we're just proving there is a model that can work. Correct. And so we're hoping that other people get encouraged, consider sponsoring MicroPython. You can buy hardware from Adafruit, the boards. You can also buy our hardware that has CircuitPython on it. Or even something like Make Code or Arduino, because you know what we're going to do with some of the money? We're going to give it to MicroPython. And so that is this week's, you know... Phil's soapbox. Rant, soapbox, whatever. I like the soapbox. But if, you're, but if you're building your stuff off open source, there are ways that you can do things. And most of all, you know, we're all just not like avatars and robots that do pull requests. We're humans. I think it's a good way to show that you appreciate what they're doing. Of course, contribute to the code. Of course, do things like documentation. Of course, you know, be in the community and be helpful. But if you have some way to sponsor in some way, please consider doing it. Yes. Happy eighth birthday. MicroPython. Happy birthday to you.